What's up everyone, Shane here with another Thursday campfire rant. If you're new to the channel, welcome. These rants are meant to be, well, not me just ranting about something that I'm mad or I think is ridiculous in the industry, but sometimes it's just something that's informative, something that I feel like you need to know about. Today, I wanna talk a little bit about what can your truck tow and how do you know what trailers weigh? It can be pretty confusing if you don't know this. So stay tuned and I will give you all the information you need to know about how to figure out what your trailer weighs. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be talking about trailer weights and every manufacturer does it a little bit different so it can be a little confusing. So first, cars, trucks, they all generally have a sticker somewhere on the vehicle. The most common place you're gonna find them on a trailer is gonna be on the right side, the driver's side body. And that would be somewhere to, towards the bottom left. Sometimes it's on the frame, so you'll see it on the middle frame. Sometimes it's on the box. Sometimes it's by the propane tanks. But in general, you're gonna see it on the right-hand side towards the bottom left, that's where you're gonna see some stickers and they're gonna give you a bunch of different weights. The number one weight you're looking for is what is the GVWR? That is Gross Vehicle Weight Rating, okay? So people are like, what does that mean? That means what is the vehicle rated to carry or have inside on top the total weight rating. Now you might be wondering, how do they come up with the weight rating? It can be a lot of different variations of how they come up with that weight. Generally, you're gonna talk about axles or suspension, control arms, how heavy, once you put the weight on those, how much weight can they handle before they fail or they break? There's also things to take into consideration, not just hubs, but also spindles or your hub assemblies or your axles or your independent suspension. Also, rims and tires, right? We had a, had a lot of issues in the past with the Black Series, the HQ-15s. They were a two-wheel setup and the control arms were rated, they claimed like 40,000 pounds before they would fail. And we didn't ever have them fail, honestly. The springs were super heavy duty. The gas shocks were super heavy duty. The issue was actually the rims. The rims were underrated for the trailer and the tires originally. When they first came out, they were putting a load range C tire on it and the tires were rated like 2,500 and there's only two of them. So you were rated for 5,000 pounds, but the supposedly the trailer dry, which I'm gonna to get to in just a second, empty was like 5,000 pounds. So the second you loaded anything in it, you were over, you're exceeding the rims and the tires, not the suspension. So it's not just rims, it's not just tires, it's not just suspension. It's a combination of things, right? Typically, it's the weakest point is what it should be rated, right? So even if the suspension and the shocks are rated for 10,000 pounds, but you have tires that are only rated for 8,000 pounds, you're not gonna wanna put anything that's gonna put it over 8,000 pounds. Now you can go upgrade tires, all of these things. These are the technicalities behind how they figure out the weight ratings. You shouldn't have to worry about this because all you need to do is go and find that sticker that says GVWR, and that's gonna give you the weight rating. Yesterday we did a Wondering Wednesday and we were in front of a taxa and the GVWR was 5,000 pounds. Now, so that's fully loaded. Now you might say, what is it empty? That's referred to as the dry weight or the GVW, right? No R because R is the rating of what it can be up to. Now that is a little bit more tricky to find out because some manufacturers will list that on the sticker, some manufacturers don't. And the reason why some will and some won't is because of options. It's really hard if a trailer does a lot of options, it's really hard to give you a dry weight. And if they were giving every single person a dry weight, they would have to go out and weigh every single trailer. And they don't, they just simply don't. So a lot of times they'll give you a maximum amount of options that you can do because they understand that you can't. You don't wanna max out the options before you get put your food and water and bedding in it. So they'll have a set amount of options, giving you usually anywhere from a thousand to 2000 pounds worth of cargo capacity and every manufacturer is different. That's so I've seen some trailers with a 5,000 pound cargo capacity. I've seen some with a 1600 pound cargo capacity. So they kind of 
figure out what are you gonna put in this trailer. Now what's really important is you never wanna go over your GVWR because if you do, you're potentially gonna blow a tire, blow a hub, bend your suspension potentially. So you don't wanna do this. You ever get in a car accident, you're exceeding your GVWRs on your tow vehicle or your trailer, potentially you're liable and insurance won't cover you for that accident. So it's really important that you're never exceeding the GVWR. Now the dry weight or the GVW, gross vehicle weight of the actual trailer itself, that can range all over the place, right? And so this is one of the things that I wanna make a point of that you don't have to necessarily always look at GVWR when you're trying to find out what your vehicle can tow. And let me give you a quick example. We have some people that reach out to us and they say, hey, I really want the Roamer One but the GVWR is like almost 10,000 pounds. And I got a, I got an older Toyota Tundra and it's max towing package says 9,000 pounds. So you're over my max tow package. And we're like, yes, we are technically, but the trailer doesn't weigh 10,000 pounds. So some trailers, the gross vehicle weight or the rating can be 10,000 pounds, but the trailer dry weight is only 5,000 pounds. So a lot of people get, they get held up with saying, oh no, I can't actually tow. If it says it's 10,000 pounds, my truck only tows 9,000 pounds, I can't tow it. That's not true. With the new TRXs, the new Raptors, they have a much lower towing capacity. So people look at something and say, oh, it's 8,000 pounds, I can't tow it. And it's no, if the dry weight's 4,000 pounds, you probably can tow it. As long as you're not exceeding it, if you're gonna go and put cement blocks, your golden bars, fill it up with water and canned food, and you're gonna try to max it out to its GVWR, then you can't tow it. But in normal situations, you're probably gonna be loading 1,000 to 2,000 pounds in it. So as long as you're conscious, if you're getting a trailer that the dry weight's 4,000 and you load it up to 5,500 pounds and your truck can tow 85 or 9,000, you're gonna be fine. We've explained this to people so many times where it's no, just because the trailer's gross vehicle rating is higher than your truck's towing capacity, doesn't mean you can't tow it. Is it a good rule of thumb to always stay under that? Yes, of course it is. But there's a little bit more nuances to the trailer itself, right? The trailer can be very light. And we've seen this with the Explorers, like the old X-22s. The tires that he put on, the suspension, it was like rated for over 10,000 pounds. But the trailer itself only weighed 5,000 pounds. Nobody was putting 5,000 pounds of stuff in that trailer. You couldn't even fit 5,000 pounds worth of, unless it was your gold bars. Other than that, there was no way to load that thing up to 10,000 pounds. So you would never be exceeding probably 7,500, 8,000 pounds max if you're crazy and packing canned goods in there. So that is, a, in a nutshell, your GVWRs versus your GVW. A lot of people get confused. Just remember, the R means what it's rated to go up to. For the GVW is just dry weight. That's dry means empty. There's nothing in it. You'll also hear sometimes people say, what's the wet weight? You're like, wet weight? The dry weight is empty. The wet weight is assuming it's fully loaded. I think it comes from the marine or yachting industry when you fill up water and fuel and everything. But there you have it. Hopefully you learned something. This is not a crazy rant about what I don't like about the RV industry. This is just something that for those first time RV owners or first time RV buyers, what to look for when you're trying to sync up your tow vehicle with your potential future trailer. So Hopefully you enjoyed it. Go check out our other lists of rants. We got tons of different in informative rants. Every single Thursday they come out. Every first Thursday of the month we do a live rant so you can jump in and we can all talk together and have a good time. So thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Talk to you later, bye-bye.